So I want to really dedicate some time to focus only in Japanese, to give it the attention it deserves. So for the next 21 days, I'm gonna be studying Japanese intensively. And I'm gonna create today, along with you, the plan to do it so. If you want to follow along, you can get the planner in the description box. There's a link so you can get access to it and you can use it over and over again whenever you need it. So let's get into it. So I have it here on my iPad. I had sent it over to GoodNotes and I'm just gonna be creating my plan and telling you a little bit of how I do it. If you're wondering what iPad I use, I have the iPad Pro with the second Apple Pencil, I think. I'll leave a link in the description to it down below. So normally I don't do this type of planning. Normally I plan longer term from six to 12 weeks and then I take a break from it. But I've been neglecting everything and I need a little bit of a push in order to get back into language learning. Also, I know that in August I'm gonna be very distracted. I'm not gonna be at my home. And when I get back home, I'm gonna do so many things um, in my new house. So I just won't have the time and energy that I have right now to learn languages. So I'm not gonna leave language learning for later. I'm gonna do it now. And that's why I came up with this 21 day intensive plan. And you know, I love a challenge, so why not, right? So the first thing you need to do when you are coming to your 21 day intensive planning is to make a decision on what language you're gonna learn. So maybe you already know what language you're gonna learn. Most of you already do. But if you are a little bit unsure, what you can do is simply put all your languages here into the language ladder and basically see what language you feel more interested in at the moment or what language needs the most, the most help. So we have first language is the A0A1 is the language I will be focusing on is Japanese. And oh my gosh, I hope I'm writing this correctly because it's been so long since I've actually written in Japanese. I think that's how you say Nihongo. Okay, now here we have French. I don't know why I always like to write these languages in the language. It just feels right to do so. In the B1, we have Deutsch. It's in the B1, but it's slowly going backwards. So hopefully it's not that bad. And actually, my languages have been in a decline. No, actually, that's not true. Um, I'm undermining myself when I do that. I can actually speak Dutch. Great. Italian, it's Italian. It's the one that's been like improving. Italiano. Portuguese. Portuguese, it's been not improving. <laughs> and then English. I always add English into these levels just to give myself a hype that I've done, I've gotten something over there. So normally what I will do is I will just look at this and be like, okay, maybe I want to finally pu push my Dutch forward. So maybe I couldn't do it in 21 days, but maybe that will help and all of that. But right now I just know I want to do Japanese because that's language that I've been feeling like learning lately. So it's gonna help me get back into the habit of learning languages. So now, of course, language is gonna be, I'm gonna write Japanese just because I kind of feel, I don't like this one, that I've, I'm not writing it correctly. I'm so nervous writing because I know that you guys are watching my writing and I have an awful handwrite as you can see. Today is June 30th, 2021. So now this is gonna be a little bit demoralizing for me because it's, this has been the same ever since I started. Um, I'm gonna be just filling in my in-depth review. Okay, so I'm just gonna fill this in and show you at the end. Okay, so now that's done, I can see where I need to focus more and it is probably a little bit more of speaking, which is what I feel I've been holding back on. Of course, nothing is great in here, in this situation, because it's very new. I mean, it's very new, I've been learning it for two years, but not really, so 
So your mission is basically your goal, what you want to achieve. My mission is to just um, learn consistently. So for you, it might be to uh, speak more. Wait, consistently? For you, it might be to speak more or to learn X amount of vocabulary or to finish a course or to do this or that. For me, it's just to be consistent for the whole of the plan, the 21 days. Why? Because it's, you don't have to write your why. I like it because it's a reminder of why I'm doing this and I need to know why I do things or why I don't do them. So I need to have a compelling reason why. Otherwise, I would just not do it. So, so yeah, so I want to prioritize language learning. I want to do this in a fun way so I don't end up burning out, ignoring language learning altogether or just hating language learning because when I feel too much pressure um, of doing things correctly, I just like stop. I can't, I can't, I don't work under pressure. So um, I just want to have fun with it in the next 21 days and just like explore Japanese the way I know I like to do it. I will feel successful if I complete 80%. Of the plan so these are just like indicators so it could be like if you finish the book if you have a conversation at the end or somewhere in between if you can understand more so whatever it is for you for me I will feel successful even if I complete 80% so even if I fail a few days um, but I managed to get almost all of it done then definitely now how I'm gonna achieve this I need if I want to learn consistently, I need to have this be fun and accessible. And so I need to pick resources that I'm really going to enjoy. So for study, I'm going to have Japanese Undercover by Oli Richards. I love this course. It's fun and I learn along with it. So that's my plan. My MBL is the minimum viable learning, and that is the minimum I can do any given day in order to continue. I am gonna say that my minimum viable learning is to, at least the minimum I could do, is to listen to the story every day. To the story. At least listen to the story. So in those failed days, the days where I don't where I can't study because of any reason or when I feel there would be more stress in my life, a lot of things going on, so at least the minimum I will do is to listen to the story that is in the Japanese undercover, uncover, uncover, not, <laughs> I'm so stupid sometimes, uncover, un, wait, uncovered, uncovered. Okay, so Japanese uncover, not undercover. That makes more sense. So I will listen to the story of Japanese uncover by Ali Richards. Um, this is when I, it's very evident to me that English is not my native language. <laughs> okay, so my minimum by learning is going to be to listen at least to the story every day. Um, whatever part of the story I'm in, to listen to it. If I don't make the time to go through the lessons, at least I have listened to it and read through it. Um, yeah. For passive learning, I'm gonna watch some anime. I don't know. I have a few that I'm watching. So anime and maybe Terra's House. I don't know about that one. So I'm still not very... Uh, actually, I know. Not Terra's House because I'm not there yet. But I'm gonna watch um, Disney movies. I love Disney movies. You know, I mentioned Disney. I should like get a sponsor by Disney or something because I mention it so freaking often. Not a sponsor by it. I wish I was. Um, so anime and Disney movies um, in Japanese. Great. And for practice, it's gonna be a little bit hard for me because I'm not really looking for a lot of practice or a lot of output. What I think I'm gonna do for practice is to mm, 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 maybe I'll maybe I'll try to share a story a day in Japanese 
Instagram. Instagram. Okay, so that way I... It's super practical. I get to make stories for you guys. I get to practice my Japanese. You can correct me. So I think this is gonna work out very well. So this is very intensive. I figured that this might take me like two hours, maybe more. And I'm gonna be doing this in the morning. Oh, so maybe I should. I will add to the planner a place where you can add where you're gonna study because I did not include it in here. But um, yeah, I'm gonna be doing this in the mornings. It's gonna take me about two hours. It's gonna be the first thing I do in the day, and which is very hard for me to do because I have work to do. But since I'm self-employed, I know that I can have those two hours in the morning, prioritize that for just three weeks, and then do the rest of my work the remaining of the time, which is a lot of time. So yeah, yeah, I think that's gonna work. I have buffer days, so no stress here no stress <laughs> um i'm trying to see if this feels like too much or if this feels like it's just about right because i can start like watching no i can start by doing some study then share a story and then watch some anime or disney movies just a little bit of it um just to finish the day it will feel like a reward to watch anime at the end of all of it so great now Rewards. Um, I'm gonna start giving myself some rewards in order for me to feel um, like more willing to do this. So I already figured it out. So if I complete seven days, I will go to Starbucks. Starbucks. And just get a matcha. And just like have like a little a date for myself. If I complete the 14 days, I will buy myself a matcha set. Because I love matcha, but I don't do it because I don't have the things. Matcha set. And I feel like it's only fitting that I get a matcha set. If I finish the 21 days, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't have that one. You know what? I will have an online gathering with my friends. I will just plan an online gathering with my friends to just they all live everywhere so just like chat and talk and have fun together so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give myself that social interaction. Okay so this is the tracker. I'm actually going to print this so I'm gonna write my mission which is to learn consistently. Just be consistent. So I make this one to print and put over on my wall so I have a physical reminder of my learning and of what I have to do. And then the orange circles are when I get um, a reward. So yay, be consistent. So this one you can print if you haven't printed the rest. So this is another tracker which I might not use but I included in there because I know like you'll like you will want to have this so we just write the date so this is from the first to the 7th of july i'm not gonna follow the dates because i'm not gonna start on monday i'm gonna start tomorrow which is thursday my weekly goal is to learn seven out of seven days the language is japanese study is japanese uncovered 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 mvl is the story just listened my planners are never pretty this is why i never show like pretty pictures of my notebooks because i just do this ugliness you can make it prettier if you get this planner and you can send me a picture of it <laughs> i love to see it anime or disney film and practice share a story of me speaking of me studying whatever and then here basically if i have an exchange which i'm not gonna do with japanese basically i will add here like monday uh, mm, like uh, i will write like monday at five you know i talk here or something like that and then i will just check it out 
and then at the end of the week I will complete my motivation how motivated I felt more or less and how consistent I was okay I'm not gonna do that right now and then we have here three weeks okay and then at the end of the period I'm gonna do another review I'm gonna make another video to update you guys on my 21 day challenge and I'm also gonna do a last review I always love to do this and I will add what worked and what didn't work into my list of things that work for me and don't work for me um, and compare my first review to the last one see if at least I feel a little bit more confident with it great so this is my plan for learning Japanese intensively for 21 days I'm gonna be updating you very soon you can go over to my Instagram if you want to see like the day-to-day -day of how it is going and also you can download this exact same planner the 21 day planner in the description box down below so thanks so much for watching and i will see you next time bye